when a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. That's right. In this episode of Running Into History. But here it is, Jimmy Stewart's childhood home. This is the burial grounds for Jimmy Stewart's mother and father. Jimmy Stewart, Philadelphia Street walk sign. Jimmy Stewart was born here in May 20th, 1908. The house no longer exists, but his, uh, the steps to the front of the house are still here. And they have a plaque out commemorating his birthplace. Spending the weekend in Indiana, PA for their Wonderful Life Festival. Uh, Indiana, PA was the birthplace of Jimmy Stewart, who starred in, of course, A Wonderful Life. But I am currently walking up the steps uh, that he would take, him and his father would take from their house, from their house at the top here to the hardware store that his father owned downtown here. So they would walk these steps every day to get to the hardware store. But here it is, Jimmy Stewart's childhood home. This would have been the second home that they moved into after Jimmy Stewart's uh, two younger sisters were born, Mary and Virginia. Um, but he, uh, he grew up here. He ended up leaving here to go to Princeton in 1928. James Stewart's father, Alexander, is also a Princeton alumni. When the Spanish-American War broke out in 1898, Alexander left Princeton to join the Rough Riders, but returned in time to graduate that same year. He would frequently look out over this city and dream of his future. And uh, just like his character in A Wonderful Life, he wanted to explore the world. And in 1926, Stewart came down with a really bad fever and was uh, bedridden in his bedroom here. But he used that time to study Charles Lindbergh's famous flight across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, he charted out his route, built a model airplane that Lindbergh was using. But uh, he continued to be fascinated with flight and actually obtained his pilot's license at one point. So Jimmy Stewart would frequently come back to visit his family. Early on, he would take the train, but eventually he would actually fly his plane into the airport here and uh, to spend time with his family. The airport actually has a Cessna of his that they rebuilt and refurbished. His father's hardware store was involved in two different fires over its time. The hardware store was eventually closed down after his father passed away on 12 28, 1961. So just after Christmas. The father's hardware store would have been right there where that huge building is off of the distance. Unfortunately, they tore it down. Some of the, um, the remnants of the uh, of the hardware store are actually in the Jimmy Stewart Museum. The museum is the, uh, the orange roof building off to the distance, but they have this cash register in there and a bunch of other items that were, were taken from the hardware store before it was closed down.
Greenwood Cemetery in Indiana, Pennsylvania. You can almost see Jimmy Stewart's childhood home off in the distance. You can actually kind of see its roof, but this is the burial grounds for Jimmy Stewart's mother and father. You see there's actually a star down there. Jimmy Stewart's family has a long line of, uh, of military heritage. And his father, Alexander, was actually a rough rider uh, from Teddy Roosevelt's fame. Jimmy Stewart's five times great grandmother, Jane, married Fergus Moorhead in her native land of Scotland. They moved to this Pennsylvania frontier land in June of 1772. This was the first settlement in this area. Fergus was captured by British allied Indians on March 16, 1777 and taken to Canada, leaving Jane alone in the wilderness. Jane gave birth to a son whom she named Fergus after his father. He is believed to be the first white child born in Indiana County. Soon afterwards, one of her older sons died of smallpox. She then had to bury the child alone. Eleven months later, Fergus was released in a prisoner exchange and reunited with Jane. Fergus lived to 80 years old, Jane lived to 79 years old. Samuel McCartney Jackson was Jimmy Stewart's maternal grandfather. He rose to Colonel of the 11th Pennsylvania Reserves in the Civil War and saw action in Antietam, Gettysburg, the Wilderness, and Spotsylvania Courthouse. His daughter, Elizabeth Ruth Jackson, married Alexander Maitland Stewart, Jimmy Stewart's parents. Jimmy Stewart's youngest uh, sister, Virginia, is buried here as well. Jimmy's other sister passed away in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, but Virginia passed away in 1972 and is buried right there.